from New York. I'm Chris Hayes here with Jennifer Sevilla Corn of the Hispanic Leadership Network, Luke Burbank of the podcast Too Beautiful to Live, Diedrich Mohammed of the NAACP, and Heidi Moore of The Guardian. Um, this week we got to see the State of the Union from President Barack Obama touching on a whole range of domestic issues. Um, but the time has come to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Well, this is an issue that I feel really strongly about. I mean, I worked on this issue in 2006 and 2007 when we tried to pass immigration reform. Real reform means stronger border security, and we can build on the progress my administration's already made. And he needs to talk about border security along with earned legal status, and a lot Americans, by and large, because we do polling too, sure. sh don't don't believe that the government is capable of securing our borders. So their their his credibility on this is is low. But Shouldn't he stay away from this and let them work the deal out in the Senate if he wants this passed? Well, I think there's two tracks. I mean, Congress has to be working on this, which they are. You know, Senate's working on their framework. Congress is working on the different uh, pieces of legislation that they like to see. But the president has to be a part of this. He has to work in a bipartisan way and the fact that Senator Rubio hasn't been invited to the White House yet to talk about immigration reform and he only brings Democrats to the White House to talk about it is a problem. He needs to start working Well, he'll get with there eventually. Well, well, <laughs> we're, we're in February. He needs to start doing it now. But you have a Senate right now who, bipartisan framework, it's it's already out there. If the President could start getting behind it and helping, sending people from the White House to work on it, on legislation and to actually start doing internal things. We used to have weekly meetings with coalition groups, bipartisanship, to bring everyone together that's not happening right now. At least has to do that if we're going to, you know, get to the other side. He has to be part of I that. I want to thank Jennifer Sevilla Corn of the Hispanic Leadership Network.